how to use chat gpt to solve excel problem hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this excel tutorial i'm going to show you how you can learn excel from chat gpt chat gpt is a large language model developed by openai and it is trained on a massive data set of conversational text it is capable of understanding and responding to human-like text inputs in a variety of language and can also be used to generate new text answer questions and engage in conversation but the best thing it can do it can write code it can solve your excel problem and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can take the help of chat gpt to enrich your excel knowledge let's get started i have created a basic problem here i want to count how many cells have data in column a and i want to see if chat gpt can help me so i'm going to open my browser and here i have already logged into chat gpt you have to create an account and then you can use chat gpt and here you can ask any question so let's give it a question I'm writing a question how to count cells that has value in column A in Excel. Let's press enter and let's see what it can offer us. Okay. So the first thing it's offering us is the count if function and it has also explained the count if functions parameter and then it has given us a formula that will solve our question. So let's see what is this formula and how it helps us. So I'm going to just copy it and if I paste it let's say i'm going to write it here in column h and i'm going to paste it and we have a result and we are doing fine here we have one two three four five six so we have six cells that has values and chat gpt has given us a great formula and it can count our cells but there is also another formula which does the same thing which is equal to count count a and you can see counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty okay and if i select the range and close parenthesis press enter it has given us the same result the count if function is working great but in this scenario i am going to use the count a function which chat gpt didn't offer us so let's paste our formula and let's see what can chat gpt tell us about it okay and you can see our formula is also correct okay so either you can use the count if function or you can use the count a function both will give you the same result now let's see if chat gpt can interpret a vba code okay so i have a tutorial on how to move data from one worksheet to another using vba based on uh, certain criteria and i'm going to paste that vba code and let's see what it knows about it okay it says this is the vba script that moves rows from a worksheet called master to another worksheet called completed based on the value in column d okay and then it started explaining the code seems okay to me so it understands the code properly and it has explained it step by step let's see if it can change my code a bit let's say if i want to move data in the previous code it should be done and then it will move data so what if our criteria is not done let's write that what if our criteria is pending now let's see what it is giving us if you want to move rows with value pending instead of done you can simply change the criteria in the if statement you need to change this to this okay and it also suggests to change the worksheet name because we are moving the data from done to pending so it is suggesting so we can change our worksheet name to pending let's see if it can write the code let's assume i don't understand how to change this code even if it has given me a complete instruction on how to change it but let's assume i don't know how to change it
Wow, it can write the code for us. Now here you can see it has changed the worksheet name to pending sheet, okay? Awesome, it has given us the code here. It has also emphasized on the worksheet name pending sheet here because it has changed the code and then it has given us how we can paste the code into a new module and then run it. Now let's test it. So I'm going to copy the code from here. In my workbook, I have a master worksheet and a completed worksheet and now I'm going to have to change the name to pending sheet underscore. Okay, now if I add the code from the developer tab, visual basic and here the module and if I close it and then if I run it from the macro the pending row has been moved let's see and it has moved here okay so chat gpt can provide us correct code and can also tweak vba code but main thing it's really great if you want to understand basic excel like if you want to learn about average function tell me about average function in excel okay now it has started explaining the average function it has given us the parameter or the arguments and it has given us an example also wow it is also giving us average if function and average if s function so it's great if you are learning excel function let's see if it understands count a function awesome now it is explaining us count a function but there is a secret i can tell you yesterday i tried to count a function and it couldn't answer it so it's learning a lot faster than i thought it's great to know it's improving so i think it will be a great tool if you want to learn microsoft excel and you can use chat gpt to solve your basic excel problem by the way chat gpt is still free and it might become paid in future i don't know it's up to them but it's still free and you can use it as long as you want and I hope it will help you a lot if you want to learn Excel. It can also understand other programming language. So if you are interested in those, you can also learn those languages using ChatGPT. This is what I wanted to show you. And I think ChatGPT is a great help for you. Try it and let me know what do you think. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends 